<laughs> Tyson, this is our makeshift little sprinkler system. This is the system control valve. This is our inspector's test drain. So what you do normally is you shut off your system and drain it as you would normally. Hook up your Dropmaster DM12, turn it on, and tell the guys in the field, if you don't hear it, don't feel it, don't do it. Two things I can't control. One is working on the wrong system or the wrong zone, and somebody shutting the power off. So you always want to hear that hiss. You want to feel the head being pulled back in, and then you want to gently tip it to the side. When you tip it to the side, the sprinkler head comes out dry and clean. Wow. So there's no mess on your ceiling, nothing on the floor, but best of all, the customers don't smell that black box. Nice. All right, so I'm gonna recharge my system here. Okay. And then it's gonna be your turn to try and bring the sprinkler head without making a mess. All right. It's showtime, Tyson. There we go. Now we just put it back. And we're going to fill it back up. You do that like the guy that's kind of black and black and black. You got a hat on her too? <laughs> No cheating, no walking air bubble spray. That's schedule 45, not the way. Yeah, I've heard that question before. And now it's crazy out there. Take the stick ahead of that was a service genius right there. It uses 1030 weight motor oil to create the seal in the vacuum pump. This is a true vacuum pump. Unlike a shop vac, which is nothing more than a fan on a motor shaft, this is a true vacuum, so because of the spinning action, we discharge a very fine oil mist into our muffler oil catch. I've, I've, I've seen and heard these. Okay. Are amazing. Right. You need to drain this down daily. The one thing I can guarantee you about this machine is if you do not drain the oil out of this muffler every day and it fills up with oil, from that muffler 16 feet back and about 12 foot square, you are going to cover everything in oil. Beautiful. It does a tremendous job of making a mess. So every day, drain the oil out, you won't have any problems. 10 inches of vacuum is what we pull. All right. Don't mess with the relief valve, leave it where it is. More is not better. Um, it's set at 10 because the gaskets inside of a boost coupling, they can only withstand 15. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. If you exceed that 15, you will actually suck them into the pipe. All right, so keeping it at 10, you're always safe. You're never gonna have a problem the way you go. So the normal operating procedure, shut down your system and allow it to drain. This is my little sectional control valve. I'm hooked up to my inspector's test drain. Unit runs right around 80 decibels. So being around it all day without hearing protection is not a problem. So I'm hooked up to my inspector's test drain. System's under that. Go ahead, give it a try. the speed of a guy who's taking a couple of baths in black water before. Yeah. I have. I thought I had it wide. Oh boy. I actually got it back there. I'm going to fix this fight. That's easy. 